Hi, I'm Jeremy Simon with 3D Universe. Today we're going to be talking about water-soluble support materials. Now, if you have a dual extrusion 3D printer, you've probably already worked with PVA, which is a very common, popular water-soluble support material. Now, this is a wonderful material for opening up new possibilities in 3D printing because it allows you to print more complex geometries that would be very difficult or even impossible to print using traditional breakaway supports like you would have to do with a single extrusion printer. These PVA supports can get into internal cavities and support structures that need them, and then you just drop the whole print into plain tap water after the print is done, and all of the PVA supports dissolve away. So in theory, it's a great thing, but if you've worked with PVA, you probably have also encountered some of the challenges associated with this material. First and foremost, it's very sensitive to moisture. Now you would expect this since it is a water-soluble material. The downside to this is that it can very readily absorb moisture in the environment. So if you have a spool of PVA that's out in the open for any period of time, it can start to absorb moisture, or in a drier environment, it can start to become overly dry. And either one of these creates issues. The PVA no longer prints as well once it has too much or too little moisture. Too much moisture, it will tend to sort of pop and uh, hiss as it's extruding. You'll hear sound of the steam escaping as it comes out of the nozzle, and this will result in print quality issues where the PVA doesn't stick as well and it doesn't print as smoothly. On the other hand, when it gets too dry, it'll have a tendency to break even while it's being fed through the uh, Bowden tubes or through the feeder mechanism of your 3D printer. The filament can become so brittle that it will break and this can lead to failed prints. So, Today we're going to show an alternative to PVA, which is made by a company called Infinite Material Solutions. The material is called Aquasis GP, and it's designed to be an alternative to PVA that prints more reliably and supposedly dissolves more readily in water. And we're going to test that out to see if it does actually perform better than PVA. So for this test, I'm going to print a part that requires water-soluble support. It has internal geometries that you just wouldn't be able to use breakaway supports for, and they're in sort of hard-to-get-at areas, so it'll be a good demonstration of how well the support material dissolves. Now I'll print the same object using tough PLA, but then one of them will be using the PVA support material, while the other will use the Aquasis GP material, and we'll see how they compare. I should also point out that I'll be using the Ultimaker PVA removal station for the purposes of dissolving these supports. I will say that this is a wonderful accessory to have if you're going to be doing a lot with soluble support materials. It's not necessary. You can just put your parts into a bowl of water and let it sit there until the supports dissolve, but it takes a lot longer that way. I actually did another video a while back that you can check out that shows the difference of using the PVA removal station compared to just letting a part sit in a bowl of water that isn't being circulated like the PVA removal station does. And you'll see that there's a big difference in how long it takes those supports to dissolve. So let's go ahead with the test. What I've done here is two of the same print. Both of these objects were printed using tough PLA material. The gray one the supports are a PVA water-soluble support material, and for the black print, I used the Aquasis GP water-soluble support material. Looking at the initial print quality, I will say that the Aquasis support here with the black print does seem to have printed uh, more cleanly. The infill uh, of that support all looks very nicely. Uh, solid without any noticeable uh, gaps where it didn't print well. Uh, by comparison, if you look at the print with the PVA, you'll see areas where it did not fill in all of the supports. Uh, it looks as if maybe there were some extrusion issues or it didn't quite stick to itself. Um, now that didn't really affect the print quality of the object itself in the end, as far as I can see but it does look to me like the support material uh, did a better job with the Aquasis just in terms of the, the initial printing. So now we're going to drop both of these into the PVA removal station and just let them run there with uh, circulated uh, plain tap water 
and we'll compare them over time to see how these supports are dissolving. Now with this print there's a uh, sort of a cube inside of a cube inside of a cube. So we'll know that the supports are fully dissolved when those interior cubes start to be able to move around freely. And uh, that's going to take some time, but we'll see if one shows any advantages over the other. So here we go. Okay, it's been about two hours, and uh, actually they've both made really good progress. Uh, the one with the PVA supports, though, is still sort of encapsulated in there. You can see those inner parts are not moving. So it looks visibly like most of it is dissolved, but there's enough still in there. You can see it kind of in between those uh, cube elements up towards the top there, that it's, it's still not moving. The one that was using the Aquasys GP, however, you can see that those are moving freely. Um, it's hard to see if the innermost cube is moving. It looks, yeah, it looks like it, it is. You can see it's shifting around in there. It's still a little bit sticky, maybe, so there might be just a touch of residue left, but for the most part, the one with the Aquasys GP is very nicely dissolved and uh, might just need a, a touch more time in there. You can see just some little tiny remnants that uh, a little more time in the PVA removal station will help with. But overall, I have to say that there definitely does seem to be an advantage with the Aquasys GP. It seems to uh, print more reliably uh, the supports themselves, and they also seem to dissolve a little bit more efficiently compared to the PVA. And that gives you a cleaner overall print with less time spent getting rid of the supports. Well, I hope you found this video useful. Please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon so you get notified of future videos. As always, feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions. Info at 3duniverse.org or you can call us at 800-689-4344. See you next time.